this how-to video, we will cover how to set up an image acquisition using the Z-Stacking feature in Cell Reporter Express. First, set up focus as normal in the acquisition settings step and snap a preview of your image. To best visualize the single plane image, toggle on and off the available channels in the image viewer. This also aids in optimizing the settings for exposure and focus offset. To view the Z-Stacking option, Click on the Z-Stacking icon. By default, the Z-Stacking option is turned off. In the bottom pane, set Z-Stacking to on. The recommended focus step, the distance between planes in the Z-Stack, is automatically generated for each objective and is determined by the depth of field of the objective. If desired, the focus step value can be changed manually. The Z-Steps in the Z-Stack will be centered around the focus offsets configured in the first acquisition setup step. This can be seen by the highlighted focus plane in the middle of the Z-Stack preview bar located in the bottom pane. Move the sliders to set the top and bottom of the Z-Stack and then select the Snap Z-Stacking Images icon. Once finished snapping, the Z-Stack projection image will appear and the Z-Stack projection button to the left of the Z-Stack preview bar will be highlighted blue. Once again, you can turn on and off the image viewer control boxes to view each channel image more clearly. Toggle through the Z-planes captured in the Z-Stack and move the sliders to optimize the number of Z-planes you want to include in the Z-Stack. If you expand the number of Z-planes, then you have to recapture the Z-Stack. If you decrease the number of Z-planes, you can select the Calculate button to automatically generate the new Z-Stack projection image. Different types of Z-projection images can be selected and tested without having to recapture the Z-Stack. Open the drop-down list for the fluorescent and TL fields, choose the desired Z-Stack projection, and select Calculate. The options for the fluorescent channels are best focus and maximum projection. For transmitted light, the options are average and best plane. To see the difference between a single plane image and the Z-Stack projection, you can switch between a single plane and the Z-Stack projection button in the Z-Stack preview bar. If desired, the TIFF images for every plane in the Z-Stack can be exported along with the Z-Stack projection for the individual well that is in the current preview. Ensure that the Z-Stack projection button is highlighted and then click on the Download Z-Stacking Images icon on the right-hand side of the window.